Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Artboard tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, if you are a web or a UX designer, you increasingly find yourself designing a website or an app for a multiple device. Artboards help you to streamline your design process by giving you an infinite canvas on which you can lay out designs for a different device and a different screens. Now, while creating an artboard, you can choose from a wide variety of preset size and define your own custom artboards. So while we are creating a new artboard for that, you need to go to a file and click a new. Okay. Inside this, you can see a name document type. In document type, you have to select an artboard because in this video, we are going to create an artboard. So just select this artboard. Okay. Right now I'm just giving a name art board one right and now artboard size as i already said you while creating an artboards you can choose from a wide variety of preset size and define your own custom artboard size so here you can see a wide variety of artboard size as well as wide variety of preset size so guys for now we are just selecting web large 920 by 1080 okay here, here you can also customize the size and uh, width and height of this uh, artboard also you can set a resolution by default the background color of this artboard is white now i'm just press ok as you can see my artboard is already created so this is my artboard and these all are blank area here, here you can select a multiple here you can create a multiple artboards so for now i'm just creating one single artboard so artboard are useful even if you are normally designed for just one screen size like this just one screen size okay for example while designing a website you can use artboard to view design for a different pages side by side and its context now friends here you have to note that artboard are optimized for the rgb color mode and advanced gpu drawing mode only so now I'm showing you the all the artboard property as well as how artboard is using. So first of all, I'm telling you now to rename this artboard, you have to go to this artboard and double click on it. And from here, you can change any name you want. For example, I'm just typing frame one. Okay, because we are going to create a multiple frame. This kind of artboard are mostly created for creating a storyboard storyboard for a movie web series and a much more okay as well as uh, developers are using this for creating a view that how their website or a software is look like is a frame by frame like every slide of this mobile screen as well as a website page so guys like this you can rename your artboard now if you want to add one more artboard you need to go to here move tool inside this move tool you can see artboard from here you can activate artboard property see as you can see this plus icon is on all side of this artboard this indicate that you can create a artboard beside this artboard on top of this artboard on below of this artboard or the left side of this artboard now if i'm click here then automatically one artboard is created beside this artboard and it is called artboard one same if i'm click one more then one more artboard is created beside this artboard. So friends, now we are going to see some property. So once you selecting this artboard from here, here you can see a size of this artboard, which artboard you want whenever you're creating your artboard. So from here, you can also change a multiple artboard. Now here you can also customize width and height of your artboard. And from here, you can change a by default color of your artboard. For example, if I want a black color, then as you can see, my artboard background color is black. You can also make it transparent. Okay. So for now, I'm just make it white color. So guys, for now, I'm just creating on plus icon and creating one artboard. But guys, you can also create a new artboard from here. It is kick a make a portrait artboard means a vertical artboard as you can see my artboard is vertical now to solve this what you can do you can change your size from here or else you can also make it horizontal or vertical from here you can just switch from here fine you can also add one more artboard from here it is for a add a new artboard now friends you have a question in your mind 
then the what is the difference between an artboard and a simple canvas so here you can see this is my simple canvas okay so here i only have a one document where i have to do all my process and this is my artboard so what is the difference between a, an artboard and a simple canvas is that you can create and store a multiple artboard in one document like this here you can see i can add and create a multiple page in a one document now each artboard can hold a different layer and a layer group which allow you to create a multiple pages for one project. Now artboard can be placed next to each other in the workspace to seamlessly work across a various artboard. Now friends for you I am already creating one artboard okay I am just creating this one okay the still uh, work is still continue so as you can see here you can see a different different artboard artboard 1 artboard 2 artboard 3 so like this you can creating a different artboard for a website as well as applications in app as you know there are different different pages like a login after that registration as well as a dashboard home page etc now to show how your application or how your website is looks alike you need to create an artboard so you have an idea that how your application is look like so friends an artboard in photoshop is the black canvas on which you can add image object text and other elements the artboard can hold a multiple layers and a layer group that you can add to the project okay now in a single artboard you can add a different different thing for example i am just creating one shape over here okay for example this shape i am creating in frame one now i am just selecting this next artboard here i am creating one different shape okay now i am creating a third artboard here you can create a different thing like this you can also adjust like this and in my fourth artboard i am just creating one text okay and just name it text so guys this like this you can create a multiple artboards and all artboards act like a different different pages so as you can see the difference between an artboard and a simple canvas is that you can create and store a multiple artboard in one document and these each documents or a each artboard hold a different layer and a layer group which you can allow you to create a multiple pages for one single project so guys this all about artboard in adobe photoshop so it can make a work a lot easier for a digital artist artboard offer a flexible platform where they can create a design now once you start utilizing artboards in your work you will notice how things fall in place the way you need them so guys that's all for the artboards in our next video we are going to see a lasso tool in adobe photoshop so thank you so much guys, see you in the next video.